This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video sponsored by Tapayo Vets. This video is about a veterinary examination of a lame golden retriever. After, after you turn over the other side, and then we'll do the same thing. That means you, you, you follow, follow, I mean you stay here. Okay. You fix, you fix here, and I go this side. I do the same thing, and then uh, after I do this joint, and I do this joint. You just record now. Ready, yeah? Ready. Focus, so that you don't have to keep changing focus. Yeah, ready? Ready. Uh, I think you come here, because this sound is really soft. Not this. Oh, you come this side. Put the dog this side first. Yeah. Okay. Male golden retriever, eight months old, complained of lame, lameness. Uh. Now last time we came, the left shoulder joint was extended and and uh, flexed, and there was a cry from him. But today there's there's no cry, but you can hear the clicking sound, which shows that the joint is loose. You can you hear the sound? I think now it's louder and louder, but it seems that there's no pain. So this will explain why he's lame. It's not a serious thing, but probably an X-ray is needed to to find whether there's any sub sub luxation of the shoulder, shoulder joint or sub anomaly anomalies here. So now I'll turn over to the other side and flex the other side for comparison. This is a very nice puppy, and uh, okay. So we just flex here and then. You see any sound or not? Now from, just focus on this. There is not much sound but this one I can feel that the joint is more stable. So there's no clicking sound. The dog not so happy already. They're not so happy now. So of course then now we check here. But definitely there is no clicking sound. Okay, then this is the knee joint. Now, this knee is very hard to extend, but there's no pain also. No pain. Ah, it's a bit difficult to extend. Ah, okay, so back with the patella bone. Now, we come over this side, then I will, I will show that this side is easier to flex. Yeah, there's no problem with the pain. So the patellar bone is normal, no pain at all. You see? It's very good. It affects until... Oh, when I compare this one, the right knee eh, is a bit stiff, but it still can flex. But not as good as the other one. There's some resistance, but I would say these two are quite normal. So the main thing is here, now I can reproduce the sound again. Wait, no. Can you hear the sound? Click. Click, but no pain. It's even more obvious now. Mm. now. Sounds so, like sure. Okay, so we will x ray confirm. Sounds like sure. Okay, can go home ready. After the physical examination, the dog was brought outside the clinic to observe the way it walked to allow the vet to better understand its condition. The dog was allowed to trot and walk outside the clinic to see which leg was causing the dog to limp. From the way the dog put its leg down, the vet can see which leg is not supporting its body weight. This form of examination is similar to that for an injured racehorse. The owner was advised to prevent the dog from running and confine the dog on leveled floor. Painkillers were given and the owner was told to observe the dog's condition for one month. The vet also advised taking an x-ray of the shoulder joint. The dog was then allowed to be brought home to rest.